you were a little boy, I told you 50 times. In this world, virtue is always courtesy. The envious may die, but envy never. <laughs> but what has this to do with what's just happened? I expect they've made up all sorts of stories. <laughs> I've already explained. I saw it all. There is nothing so ingenious as a gossip. <laughs> I'll swing for you yet, Mother. Will you listen? I saw him do these wicked things myself. There's always poison spread by idle tongues. <laughs> no one on earth can get away from that. <laughs> this conversation is ridiculous. I saw him, understand? Saw him, saw him with my own eyes. What I did is describe as seeing. How many more times must I repeat myself? Must I shout myself worse? Uh, appearances deceive often as not. You mustn't always go by what you see. <laughs> I'm going mad. Sufficient is the nature, and good is often mistaken for evil. So I'm to suppose the urge to kiss my wife has some religious motive. It's as well not to accuse people without just cause. You should have waited to make many certain. My God! Could that have been the way to be more certain? I should have waited till in front of me he... No! You make me say things I regret! No! I think it does imply settlement. I've always been devoted to your family. I was once in your father's service. Sir, you must forgive me. I'm ashamed to admit, but I don't know who you are or what your name is. My name is Loyal. I'm from Normandy. 
hold the much respected most availing. For 40 years I've been so fortunate, thank God, as to discharge my task with honor. And I'm here with your permission, sir, to serve you with this writ. You mean you've come to what? Now, sir, let's not have a scene. All I have is this summons here, this eviction Ooh. order, oh. which says you must forthwith, without delay, remove yourself, oh. your family, oh. your effects. Oh. 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 Yes, yeah, sir, oh. if you don't mind. As you're no doubt aware, there is no question that at the present moment, this house now belongs to our revered Monsieur Tartu. Oh. For our monarchy is lord and master of your possessions by virtue of a contract legally drawn up and incontestable. <laughs> you oh, got a nerve. I'm not so obliged to deal with you, sir. This is Monsieur Aldon's business, and he's a reasonable sort of chap who knows full well a man must do his duty and wouldn't ever want to obstruct justice. But, sir, you must understand that. Yes, I know, sir. You would never dream of playing up. And as an honest man, you'll let me carry out my orders here. Go ahead and go my way to feel my thick blade while I drop your black gown, Monsieur Bailey. Me. Tell your son to shut up or go away. <laughs> I hate to find it necessary to make a reference to this in my report. Monsieur Royal, it's not very well named. I've always been very well disposed towards men of goodwill. That's why I volunteered for this particular job, to comfort you and help you out and make sure they didn't send a man who, lacking my personal sympathy for you, might have approached the matter less respectfully. What's so respectful about turning people out on the streets? Mm -hmm. You'll have plenty of time. I'll suspend the execution of the writs until tomorrow. Oh. oh, there's just one thing. I'll have to spend the night with about 10 of my men. There'll be no noise, no trouble. I will need, and before you go to bed, please, it's only a formality, the keys. I guarantee your sleep won't be disturbed, and there'll be no unnecessary suffering. You just be ready first thing in the morning to clear out every last household utensil. My men will help you. Everyone's handpicked to render you assistance with the move. I don't think one can say better than that. And as I've been so lenient with you, I would request the corresponding temperance on your part as I go about my duty. <laughs> I'd willingly give up my last few coins this minute in return for the great pleasure of punching this buffoon heart on the nose! Good, spoil everything. But this is unheard of. Oh, my knuckles. Oh, you better hold my hands! 
obliged to. A very close friend of mine who's aware of my connection with you, for my sake, has breached the confidentiality owed to the state and has stored information which gives you no choice but to run away. Oh. <coughs> An hour ago, that swine who for so long has cheated you denounced you to the king. Oh. And among other accusations, gave him a case belonging to the enemy of the state whose secrecy says you kept so neglecting your duty as a subject. I don't know the exact crime you're accused of, but orders have gone out for your arrest. <laughs> and Tartuffe has been told to come as well to help the officer sent to affect you. That's how the traitors try to reinforce his claim, to take over all your possessions. Oh, it's true. It really is an evil monster. The slightest hesitation could be fatal. Here's a thousand louis I brought you. My carriage is waiting for you at the gate. Don't let's waste time. This is a thunderbolt, the kind of thing you simply can't escape unless you run. I'll take you to a safe place and stay with you until you've gotten away. Oh, I don't know how to thank you for this kindness. Oh, I have to wait before I can repay you. And I ask God to one day help me express my true gratitude for this rescue. Oh, goodbye. Take care. All of you. Uh, Hurry off. We'll try and do whatever's necessary. All right, all right. Uh, it's not very far to where you're going, my friend. In the name of the king, you're under arrest. Uh, you traitor! You've been saying this to last! A criminal delivering the death blow! The culmination of all your betrayals! I'm completely impervious to your insults. I'm trained to be tolerant under the sight of God. How admirably self-controlled of you! How insolently he takes the name of God. I'm completely unmoved by your resentments. All I'm trying to do is my duty. <laughs> you think this will enhance your reputation? Do you believe this is honor for others? Conduct suggested by the power that sent me, sure, can't help but be exemplary. Oh, have you forgotten that my charity rescued you from a life of poverty? No. no. Oh, I'm well aware of how you helped me. But my first duty must be to the king. The rightful power of this sacred passion has stifled all the gratitude in my heart. To these commitments I would sacrifice my friends, my wife, my family, or myself. Imposter! Be so treacherously clever. I'm making use of what we utmost respect. And if this sense of duty which drives you, and that you're so proud of, is so consuming, then why did you hold off making its appearance until he caught you molesting his wife? Oh, and why do you think of accusing him until he felt compelled to throw you out? He just made you a gift of all his money. And I don't just bring this up as a red herring. I just wonder, if he is so guilty, then how can you condescend to be his heir? Oh. Why don't you put an end to all this whining and be as good as to follow as you're told? Yes, I suppose I've waited far too long. And what you say is a timely reminder. Oh. I will obey them. Follow me at once. Oh, I am taking you immediately to prison. <laughs> Who? Me, sir? Yes, you, sir. But why to prison? I don't have to explain myself to you.
The king wants me to strip him in your presence of all of your papers, <gasps> which he claims to own, and exercises his prerogative to break the contract which you signed to give him all that you own. Celebrating your wedding, darling. Oh! Oh! 